Hello, all right, Dominic. So welcome to the first part of our LP. And you can see we're just escaping the vault. Our first signs of the Commonwealth. <laughs> this is with our Wolverine character. Now, because I messed up the audio, I'm doing a post commentary here. So this is gonna be a mashup video of kind of the best bits from the first sections of our LP uh, as I messed up the audio. So we're collecting our first bits of goodies since getting out of the vault and taking in the beautiful landscapes of the Commonwealth. Picking up a trifolded American flag, some rad X, make our way down to see what else we can find. So there we are. Oh, we picked up a security baton. So yeah, we skipped a bit in the vault because everybody knows what happens in the vault and I think most people by now know what the story is, so we don't need to see the very beginning. So this is collecting our first pieces of junk and then heading into Sanctuary. Here we are, first time meeting Codsworth, and he's going to make us some nice. tea. Gronk the Barbarian, which is going to be very important for our build. As Wolverine, it's going to be a melee build, so... We're going to need to collect as Mr. many Logan. of these Gronk magazines oh, as we can. Are, Mr. Logan. I love him. Codsworth says that. So there'll be a bit coming up in a little while where you'll see the special and everything. So I'll discuss the character build then. So this is us meeting Codsworth. Are you kidding me? I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. Oh. All right. Lead the way. How to serve! How to serve! So this is going to be our first little bit of action with Codsworth clearing sanctuary of the infestations so we can have our first look at the damage that we can do as, uh, as Wolverine. We are still on survival mode at the moment. This is the old survival mode, or the original survival mode, as the new version hasn't come out yet. But I will be trying that when it is released, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes, if it changes anything, makes it easier or makes it harder. I have a feeling it may actually make it easier. Let's see, let's take some food, keep us healed. One thing I do notice with this alone mode and playing a melee build is that we run out of health an awful lot, and I'm really bad at keeping an eye on my health. So that's one thing I must remember to do. Look at Sanctuary, it is just a mess, but kind of a beautiful mess. And me and Cosmo are racing to see who can get to the house first. Oh, there it is. We've spotted the enemies. This be fun. Left, right, left. There we go. Take him down, no match for our Wolverine. Now at some point we want to make ourselves some knuckles, the bladed knuckles, so that we actually look a little bit like Wolverine. Yes, oh, through the window. Beautiful shot. They were being gonked by long range. A gonk shot. Come on. Oh, yes. And that's one thing I noticed I'm going to have to get used to is enemies that are out of reach or something. You can't just snipe people from a mile away like I've done before. I actually need to try and find a way to get close to my enemies, which is going to be quite interesting and probably one of the most challenging parts of this playthrough so far. Oh, one of our first lock picks. And what should be good is that we should be able to get a lot of money to buy armor and things, as we're not going to be using weapons. Mr. Logan. Mr. Logan. Your family isn't here either. No, cause if they're not. God damn it! They're really gone, aren't they? Stop talking about it, Codsworth. It's too sure real. He's out there, Codsworth. He's out there. Need to find him. What about Conquer, sir? Plenty of people there. Last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. Well, that's not too bad, Codsworth, but you are a robot. Thanks for your so, help, Codsworth. Good luck, even though sir. you are the most friendly robot I think I've ever seen. But, uh, good job anyway, Codsworth. Now, after speaking to Codsworth here, I spent the next 40 minutes scrapping everything in Sanctuary. So, I've skipped that in this video because... You don't need to see me grind out building montages so that I could level up. 
So here we go, these are our specials. We've got 6 Strength, 2 Perception, 10 Endurance, 1 Charisma, 1 Intelligence, 6 Agility, and I think it's 2 Luck. So obviously taking Adamantium Skeleton first, which is going to be key to our build. Obviously you can't have Wolverine without Adamantium Skeleton. Then Life Giver is going to be our second key perk, because at rank 3, as you can see, it's going to regenerate our health, which is exactly what Wolverine does. So we need to take Life Giver. And you get it at level 20, which is reasonably early on. And then our third most important perk is going to be Iron Fist, obviously, because we need to be able to get those melee punches going. And then our fourth and fifth uh, key perks are probably going to be Bloody Mess and Lone Wanderer. Now I took uh, Moving Target there, is it's kind of the best thing available to me at the time. Another quick glance at our specials. And this you see me come into the screen again was after I tried to build the Knuckles the first time I realised that you needed the Armorsmith perk, no sorry, the Blacksmith perk to actually be able to build the bladed knuckles which I was pretty annoyed about. So this is skipping forward to us at Red Rocket, killing all these mole rats. The first real action against a group of enemies with the Knuckles. And we did pretty well. God. Take that, mole rats. Pretty well. Much better than... Oh, dog meat. Savage. Actually did much better than I thought. The knuckles give a nice bit of damage. And I needed leather. I didn't have any leather to be able to build the bladed knuckles originally. So fortunately, these mole rats, as you can see there, gave me just the right items I needed to be able to rush back to Sanctuary and build the bladed knuckles. Here we are. Because originally, I hadn't actually planned to take the blacksmith perk because I completely forgot that you actually needed it for this uh, build. So I didn't plan it in when I was thinking of my perks. Uh, but I had to take it there. So this is our first... Oh, first attack with bladed knuckles. Ah, get down. Come on, you chase this bloodthirsty hatchling thing all the way around this building. God. Yeah. Oh. God. Being a melee character, you can't just bats him and shoot him. So at some point in the future, we'll probably have to take blitz or something maybe in the late game so that we can increase the bats melee distance then here we are ah, the mole rat cave just underneath red rocket the nice little kind of hidden location but i think most people have uh, found this location by now and there's a couple of pretty cool items in here that you can get early on that, that help out especially in the next section once you get to concord I'll take some brain fungus because you can never never have enough brain fungus. And being a mole rat den, I imagine there's probably going to be quite a few mole rats coming up in here, so we'll get another good uh, showing of the. Oh, there we go. Jab with the uh, bladed claws. What I did find a little bit disappointing is you can only have the knuckles on one hand, which is pretty disappointing. You can't dual wield melee weapons. Oh, one shot. God, oh, blood everywhere. Jeez. Oh, these bladed knuckles are making short work of these mole rats. My days. But yeah, it's a shame you can't actually have two. It's really weird that they only permit you to have a one knuckle. Oh, there we go, our first fusion core. Uh, we won't really be using a power armor in this playthrough at all. Uh, Trash Busters Award. On the behalf of Boston Regal Office, I'd like to congratulate you and your team on winning the 2016 Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. Respect the environment is an integral part of our corporate image, and we appreciate your innovative efforts in this regard. Innovation, dump nuclear waste under the ground. That's how you do it. But yeah, we won't be really using power armor because Wolverine doesn't really have a giant metal suit that he climbs into. He's not Iron Man. Um, he already has super awesome bones. So yeah, we won't be using power armor except if the game forces us to do so. So collecting a few more junk, pipe pistols and everything. As I mentioned earlier, all the weapons and pipe pistols and ammo and stuff are going to come in really handy later on, because we can just sell it all. So ammo becomes a really great currency late game when you end up with thousands of rounds of 38 ammo, so it'll probably end up being our main currency. Oh, oh glowing Mora! 
Oh, one shot, two shots. Oh, miss that one. God dog me. Oh, go on, one more. Look at that bloody mess. And your bloody mess will increase our damage output. And Wolverine is just, when you're slashing people up, it's generally bloody bloody. So, we built our character around that. He's got uh, two perceptions so that once the bobblehead for perception comes later on, then that will take us to three, which would allow us to get awareness, which I think is a pretty cool perk for any build, just to allow you to see what kind of enemy you're coming up against. And then we took two for luck, so that with the luck bobblehead, we can move towards uh, getting bloody mess. And the luck bobblehead's a bit further away, so a bit of a pain to get to, uh, but it'll be worth it in the end. And then Lone Wanderer, because Wolverine's been in a few team-ups, but pretty much he's, he's a lone wolf, so that'll just help him increase our damage and be, get us to survive longer in the wasteland. And then there'll be a couple of other perks that we take along the way, but uh, Adam Adam Skeleton, Life Giver, oh, oh, First Nuka Cola Quantum, Iron Fist, Bloody Mess, and Lone Wonder are going to be the main uh, focal perks of this build. Oh, don't me, it's found something. Bobby Pins, Red Bandana, Welding Goggles. No, oh, I should have given the bandana to uh, Dog Me, actually. He seemed eager to wear it. We'll just clear this house out, see if there's anything else uh, we can see. What's well, safe? No don't way dance. I can pick this. I keep thinking that Wolverine should just be able to like jam his claws in and uh, shimmy all of these locks open, but never mind. But yeah, I may think about using a mod to get two-handed uh, melee going because I think that would be much better for this build, uh, much more realistic anyway, and kind of... If it looks cool and the animations are okay, then I'll uh, look at using a two-handed melee mod. Because yeah, I don't understand why it's just dush, one attack. Why can't you have two? It seems so odd. You could still block with two hands like this whilst you're wearing knuckles. So I don't quite understand the the idea behind that. Like, it's not like you're going to be overpowered or anything. And again, here I'm checking my health because I'm notoriously bad at ensuring that I'm at full health in these situations. So uh, I have to make sure I keep my stim packs and keep my health up because although we are pretty strong uh, on survival mode it still doesn't take much because basically I take twice as much damage and deal twice, uh, deal half as much damage uh, enemies just take an absolute age to kill which is why I think perhaps the new survival mode will be different in a way because supposedly you deal double damage and take double damage oh look at that discover the museum of freedom but she isn't discovering anything else anymore my days I'm pretty ruthless with companions as well they are distractions go on dog me get up kick my dog Oh, that's it. Spikes to the jugular. Oh, and again. Nice. Get down, love. We're taking quite a lot of damage here, so... Again, we're not going to be able to vats in from that distance and... Just need to recover some health. Garvey's got this. Too much. Shoot my dog. Oh, Garvey finished him off. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us. Please. Well, I don't know about laser musket, Garvey, but I can help you. So I'm just on the roof of the church next to where he was speaking. And this is my favourite way to get into this building. Because if you time it right, you can, as you'll see, run, jump onto the back of this crashed vertebrate. And you can actually enter the Museum of Freedom from the bottom. From the bottom? From the top instead of the bottom. So it kind of gives you a bit more of an advantage. You can sneak up behind the raiders on the inside, which is why I like to enter from here. And you kind of mini spoilers for what happens after you clear the building, but uh, I think it's a pretty cool way to come in. And now we're inside, inside the Museum of Freedom, ready to take on these batch of raiders. Here comes one. Oh, blocked me. Take that to the shoulder. And again, he blocked me with his little switchblade. Oh, spinning attack. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure what actually made him die then, because I'm pretty sure I didn't hit him. But, uh, quick chance to pick up some loot here and line ourselves up a few guys over there, but 
always have enough time to check what's going on. And uh, my computer decided to go to sleep then. <laughs> oh, it's time to Oh, thunderous blow. I'm actually really impressed with the amount of damage that we're doing against these raiders, whether they are kind of level one or something, but again, that's something that, uh... Oh! Oh! Gruesome! But uh, awareness is the perk that would allow me to see what level these guys are in that. But, uh, oh! Fire! Fire, fire, fire. See, if I was one of my other characters, that would have just completely annihilated me, but thankfully we do have the extra health and uh, extra strength and endurance to be able to survive these kind of attacks. Uh, but yeah, if we were in Hadda with the awareness, but we'd be able to see what level these guys are. Uh, oh, he's going to go down. Oh, God, one shot. Oh, that is a lot of blood. Uh, so perhaps they're just level one, which is why we're just absolutely tearing them apart. But I was surprised at actually how much damage we were doing with these knuckles. I didn't think uh, it would be as easy as this. I thought we'd be in a lot more trouble here. So let's see, where's that guy going? He's going around to the right. Perfect time to strike, I feel. Come on, me. Oh, there's actually another guy there. I didn't see him earlier. Okay, let's run across. Let's see what we can do. Oh, now you see me. Oh, a bit wild in the strikes there. Oh, God, he's lining one up, and we got in there just before. Nice. And you always have time to loot people in the middle of the battle, because that's what every good soldier does. Where's that guy gone? He was around here earlier. Really. Nope, he's decided to disappear, so let's continue around with all of our recreating of the war, art on the war. We can hear the gunshots in the distance. Let's go upstairs. Go on, me. Go upstairs. Nope, we'll have a quick look. Can't actually see anybody. So we'll take the fight upstairs with our bloodied, bladed knuckles showing the spoils of war. Here we go. Oh, there's one person here. Behind you! Oh, oh, that's it. And break your legs on the way down. Beautiful. Dog me over there, just, just having a little uh, barking match with somebody else. Anything to do? Pre-war money, take that. Here we go. Coffee cup, dinner fork. Yeah, I'm not sure why I've continued to go around uh, collecting as much stuff. I thought caps were as useful. But I don't know actually how much building we're going to be doing in this playthrough. I don't think we're actually going to be doing much at all. So, but I don't know. Force of habit, you just can't not loot. Like, who's shooting me? God damn it. Dogmeat is in trouble, but I think he's going to be okay. Butt shot! Oh, one hit on the butt. Dogmeat over there. Not looking good, is it? Ah! So I really wanted that to be like a Superman punch coming down and dealing the final blow, but I didn't quite line it up properly, so it didn't look as epic as I was uh, hoping for, unfortunately, that one. But we got some more knuckles. So this one, I was like, oh yeah, more knuckles, I can put them on the other hand, but alas, that is not possible. Now we've cleared everybody and we finally get to meet Man, Preston Garvey. Time My timing Preston is impeccable, Garvey. Uh, What's he got to say for himself? No, nothing. You owe me. Yeah, sure thing. I'll give you my chest full of emeralds. Oh, oh Garvey, you're so funny with your chest full of emeralds. But yeah, just wearing some standard leather armour, as you see there, just picked up from the Raiders. I'm not entirely sure what armour yeah. to go with like as the final look for Wolverine without trying to download a mod. I'd like to try and do it like in the vein of Wolverine and perhaps not just download a full like the Wolverine costume mod. Just kind of keep it to, in the spirit of with what I can do in the game. And you have the bladed knuckles and the adamantium skeleton, so it's like almost like the game is already asking you to uh, do a Wolverine style playthrough. But, oh, Preston's crying because the Minutemen weren't good enough to kill off some ghouls. The things I've seen. The things I've seen. The things I've done. The things I've done. Gavi, you haven't done anything. You are the kitten of the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth kitten. The Raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we 
do have one idea. Uh, what's your great idea then, Garby? Better Come be on. a good one. Better be a good one. I say gruffly. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Seen it. Old school. I know what you're talking about, Sturgis. Might have seen it. I have seen well, it. I passed it on my way down. Left a I also saw that. Yes. T45 power armor. Military issue. Yes, I've seen it. I've seen it. It's on the roof. Along with a little message from its out. former owner. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the mm. birdie bird. Do that. I could probably Go do that without the power armor. But I ain't using no minigun. That's not my style, Stages. Could work. Could <laughs> work. Could work. Provided we can reactivate the suit. It's totally out of juice. Ah, uh, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'd already been to a mole rat cave and yet. got myself a uh, brand new a shiny stuff. fusion core. So What's the solution? And that's what you need, I know. What you'll need old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Why does he bother to say a pre-war FC? Because then he knows he has to explain himself. A standardized fusion core. Why not just say, you'll need an old pre-war fusion core? Idiot. Idiot. Lock behind a security gate. Look. Oh, lock behind a security gate. I'm no hacker, but I don't need to go to anywhere because I already have one. I come prepared, Sturges. I already have. already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, you can right. move my oddly Maybe moving I'll lips. Once you jack the core into the power armor, all right, I will jack that Raiders core Raiders into the power Raiders. armor and take the fight to the Raiders. Yeah. And here we are, Boom. coming down. No minigun, because miniguns are for pussies. We're just gonna clobber everybody. Now there was a guy on the building opposite me when I jumped off the roof and I was convinced that he was standing on top of this roof. So I came up here to try and find him so I could punch his lights out. But apparently he wasn't on this roof. Uh, somehow he must have been on the other roof as you can see where I jumped down over there. And Garby's still on this little perch over there. I'm not sure if that was actually the radar or not, but I wanted to try and see if I could get on the roof. But apparently that's not allowed or I don't have the skills in order to do that so I gave up and we're just going to go and absolutely destroy some raiders in our power armor oh good golly that must have hurt oh one shot take these guys down the running attack oh, oh. my days what is that Oh god, no, 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 run, 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 this must be like the favourite house in uh, Concord, I'm pretty sure everybody must go inside this house, there's a death claw, oh, sorry dog me, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're going to have to take one for the team here, I look at the death claw running away like a scolded animal, so yeah, we're going to take on the death claw with our fists and see how well we can survive in this beaten up piece of power armor so we're gonna leave dog meat there for the moment because <laughs> he will get back up but in the new survival mode he wouldn't get back up unless i give him a stim pack so they still not made companions killable but uh instead of just getting up by themselves oh god here it comes uh, you actually have to give them a stim pack now, which is different to before. And if you don't, they'll uh, magic travel back to your base. Go on! Oh god! No! No! Death claw! No, 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 no! Go on! Punch! To the face! To the face! We have to pick our moments when he's not like, now! Punch! Oh, god's sake! No, no, no! Death claw! Death claw! Go on! Doosh! 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 Get in! In the house! In the house! In the house! Ooh. Yes, just use all our stim packs. And there's a, is there a raider over there still? Yeah, one raider. Poor guy, he doesn't know what's coming to him. Like, I would just be hiding everywhere. <laughs> I wouldn't be standing there trying to shoot people. There's goddamn death claw in the way. Preston Garvey actually does a pretty good job of damaging the death claw here with us. Because I'm sure that it's not just me doing this damage. Now we can. Oh, a couple of vats here to see. Oh, yeah, I left. All right. Left, right, we're clipping through everything, but it doesn't matter. Oh, back inside. 
Nice. That was a good few shots. Oh, get out of my house! I was like, what? He's coming inside? No way! But, so we've lost the left arm with the power armor and both legs are shot. So, oh, poor dog meat. It's okay, buddy. I'll heal you later or you'll heal yourself later. It doesn't matter. Oh, again, time for looting. The Death Girl likes to run off in high places. Is that a raider? <laughs> oh, it was a raider. Oh, dear lord. He is, he cannot be a happy camper at all. Where's the Death Girl gone? Here, yeah, Death Girl, Death Girl, Death Girl, Death Girl, Death Girl. What dog, is that his shoe? Let me get, is that another raider? Yes, apparently so. Sneak attack, sneak attack. Oh! God, you're not going to have any bones left after that one. Just crippling shots. And more raiders. Where did these raiders come from? Just insta spawning raiders. This guy's actually got a shotgun. Oh, but Garvey's almost destroyed him. Ready? Oh! oh I'm surprised he didn't one shot her. Trying to melee attack a guy in power armor is uh, not exactly a good idea. Alright, so now I've killed all the raiders, it's just the death claw left. Dogmeat has found an enemy. Yes, Dogmeat, I found an enemy too, and it's pretty huge. Uh, so, let's see what the dog meat is just like growling at the death claw. He's nothing if not brave, that boy. So, let's see if we can bait the death claw out from its uh, little hiding hole around the corner. Here we go. Run, 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 run. I don't think I would last long in open combat against the Death Claw, so we'll leave it for dog meat. Are we going to run out and help him? No, we're just going <laughs> to keep in cover behind here and ensure that the Death Claw can't get us. Oh yeah, throw dirt at me, whatever. Come on. We're coming for you, Death Claw. We're coming for you. A couple more bats. Oh, we actually have a crit. We're going to use it now. Oh, clean punch, spinning punch to the head. A little. A little trouble getting back in, took an extra blow from the death claw. We've still got quite a lot of health. And again, I'm still surprised that we've managed to stay alive. I don't think that hit actually connected. Oh, that was a big hit. Yes, take that death claw. Go on. He gets quite far inside the building. Go on. One more. Oh, oh another butt shot. We've been doing quite a few of them. Oh, right to the face. Oh, we took one. Garvey is doing quite well, though. Getting those shots in. I mean, when you can be bothered to actually hit. Oh, that was quite big. Get some extra damage. 75% of the way there. Good idea. Take a stim pack. I wonder if Dogmeat's gonna get back up. Garvey's aim is horrendous. Oh, that was a big shot by him, though. I'm sure he does more damage than me. Get out of my house! For a second time, I'm like, no, 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 no. What? You can't come in here. There's a game to the game. But, uh, come upstairs. I'm not sure if I've noticed my health is quite low, but. The power arm has taken an absolute beating. There's now red arm and two red legs. I'm not sure what I thought that radio was going to do for me. I think Garvey's up there. Don't worry, it's fine. I'm up on my high perch where the death claw can't get me. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. It's only a death claw. But once again, the death claws ran off. So now it gives me a little time to assess the area and try and figure out what I want to do next. Could do some more looting. Or I could heal dog meat. But in the end I probably do neither. I can see my health is full. Almost at level seven. But uh, okay. So we decided to stake a stim pack. Stake? Take a stim pack. And then continue on and see if we can actually find the death claw. We can see him on the map. Which again, something else Oh there he is, he's gonna get back inside. Something else the new survival mode will uh change is the fact that can't see enemies on the minimap anymore. Although, I mean, it's quite hard to miss a death claw. But no, oh, poor dog me took one for the team again. Oh, good shot, left one. Come on, let's get this death claw down. It's quite a long fight, but you can't really rush to fight the death claw. Oh, gone. Yes, left, right, left, right. Yes. Oh, trading blues. Absolute boxing match of the death claw going on right here. It's pretty great. And uh, he's running away back into his corner again. The dog meat is. 
limping around on the floor over here. Yeah, just checking on dog meat to see what he's doing. Tire iron, leather armor. Okay, go back inside to see what our friend the death crawler has in store for us. He likes hiding over there. He's smart. He knows the end is nigh. <laughs> Garvey. Garvey, I'd get back up there real fast because you are not equipped to fight a death curl, But Look at that. Garvey is smart. Not smart enough not to fall off, but at least smart enough to know he needs to get back inside as quick as he can. All right. I was quite pleased at this point that I managed to survive this far without being killed by the death call. Then I noticed I had a crit, so I was like, yes, crit time! But I was pounced on with the death call. I was like, no, 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 oh, death claw. That's, come on me, crit. Yeah. I should have activated more attacks in Vats at this point, because he absolutely beats me down here. Oh, shit, I lost so much health there. I was like, no, I'm going to die. No, 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 god damn it, get inside, get inside, run! Oh god, I can't believe I actually managed to survive this part. I don't know why I needed three instead of about five punches in bats, and I was really disappointed with the amount of damage that the crit actually did. I felt it did absolutely nothing, but somehow we managed to escape with like 10% health left. Actually, I think it showed on screen I had nine HP. Actually nine, and oh, that was quite risky. I still, I still only got a small piece of health left. But I did manage to get the death girl down so close, so much, like almost one punch away. Unfortunately, he ran away again, which gives me a little bit more time to heal up and prepare for the final assault. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Health is coming back from the stim packs all the time, which is great. So now we just need. At last blow, he's hiding behind the house again. Poor old dog me. He's just been the scapegoat pretty much this whole battle. Here we go, now he's coming. And I, I'm ready now, I'm like, okay, this is it. I'm gonna stay here. One punch, oh, I was hoping that, go on, one more, yeah. I was hoping that punch that he's coming towards us boosh, would be enough to take him out, but it needed two, so he finally managed to take him down with just punches, and there we go. Took his hand, took his meat and his claws or whatever. Victory! And now, as we're not going to be using much power armor, we can hop out of the power armor. And then I looted all the bodies, and then I want to come and investigate this underground passage here. This is where the death claw pops out, which I never really explored before, so the Concord Civic Access. So here we are, back with our Wolverine claws to see what we can find underneath Concord in the Civic Access. Some cotton yarn. And I want to try and explore as many places as I can in this playthrough. Uh, in the other times I've played, I've just kind of blitzed the main story. So here I'm going to take it a bit slower and investigate as many different areas as I can. Oh, a chained door. Must have been some sort of raider hideout. Oh god, my luck. My luck, my luck, my luck. <laughs> Save, good option me. Another thing that I need to remember to do a lot uh, in survival mode is quick save because I die all the time. Or in my previous playthrough, somebody throws a Molotov at you and you instantly die. So I have to save all the time. Oh nice, it's already dead. You know, I, my luck would be an absolute pain on this playthrough because they're so fast and I cannot see that I would do much damage to a my luck. So we'll have to see how that goes. But yet again, saving is something else that's been turned off. Oh, duffel bag, duffel bag, duffel bag. Nice, just take all the guns so we can sell them or scrap them. Scrap them would be pointless because we're not doing much building, but anyway, force of habit. But yeah, quick save or saving is another thing that's been turned off in the new revised uh, survival mode, which is pretty interesting. You need to sleep in order to be able to save. So hopefully they'll give us some sort of droppable item like a sleeping bag or something that will kind of let us save whenever we want, perhaps. Got it. Uh, like the fast travel, you can't fast travel when you're uh, in combat, uh, although fast travel will disabled as well. Perhaps the sleeping bag, you can't sleep during combat, which would be pretty cool. It's pretty tough, because if you're gaming or something in actually real-world situations, cool, you kind of can't just 
save, drop it, and go and do whatever you need to do. You'd have to pause it or try and finish your section as quickly as you can, which could be a bit problematic for some people. But then I guess that's the point of a hardcore survival mode is that it is punishing and hardcore. So I can uh, totally understand why they've done that. But it's still in beta at the moment, I think. So it'll be interesting to see if that actually makes it into the final cut of the survival mode or not. Oh, well, we're at, we can deal with this, we've got this, we've got this. Oh, one shot. Oh, the blood. With bloody mess, this is just going to be absolutely insane. Just going to be blood everywhere. Oh, one last one. Get, oh, and again. Come on, take it. Oh. And there we go. Oh, take a little look at our perch up. Did we level up? We did. We did level up. Level seven. So what did I take at level seven? Let's have a look. Probably life giver. No, I think you have to wait till level eight for life giver. So I think here we decided to go for solar powered. I think in the end, after uh, looking around the perk chart for a little bit, and we decided that as the level ten perk is the strongest perk we can get uh, for our character, it's probably the most sensible thing to take. Like maybe it's not too overly Wolverine, but it, for a gameplay sake, like it seems kind of a bit stupid not to take the most powerful perk available to you. So uh, I think we ended up taking solar powered. As you can see, our perception is now three from the bobblehead from Preston, so we could take awareness if we want. We've got our 10 endurance, which does our health and action points. So I was just checking to see if the plus two strength gain in endurance would give us more health during uh, the hours of six, which it does. So yeah, we decided to go for solar panelled. Solar panelled? <laughs> solar powered. And once you do get it to rank three, if you ever get to level 50, uh, it regenerates your health as well, which again is another Wolverine trait. So although he's not powered by the sun, it kind of, it fits in line in that respect. And... Yeah, it seems odd not to take our most powerful perk, so we decided to go with solar powered. And let's see what else is. We're going quite tentatively down here. Oh, another Mylurk. Ah, oh, Jesus. Hopefully it's dead like the one before, and we don't have to uh, actually try and navigate it, but let's see. Is it alive or dead? I'm checking on Vats to see. Let's have a look, and, uh, yes, it's alive, it's okay, we've got full health, so I think I was like, oh, let's just go for it, go for it, uh, but then uh, Dogmeat decided to get in on the action, so I was like, okay, Dogmeat, you can, uh, <laughs> you can start this one, uh, you're doing a grand job on down there, but, my life, hate my life, so fast, and they do so much damage, and I was like, okay, I'm getting in on the action, I'm going in. Just like, oh, absolutely no damage being done. Look at that, hitting the shell. Whoever I needed to go around the front, wasn't he, and try and hit a different area, but fortunately, oh, it was attacking dog meat. But at this point, I was like, oh god, get away, get away, get away, get away. Get some distance, get some health. Because, yeah, just a couple shots from me. Okay, here we go. That's, 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 that's. Yes, there we go, go on. So close. Take that, yeah! Get down, Mylurk. Oh, you're carrying too much. You can't run. It's that Mylurk me. Weighs you down, man. Weighs you down. Weighs you down. <laughs> so I realise I've got three leg and three arms for the Raider outfits. So I'm just looting everything. But we can pop some meat, get some health back, and uh, keep moving. So, oh, right. Absolutely no question. Tiny little rad bitch does not stand a chance. <laughs> and once again, over encumbered, so I'll probably just eat some more meat. Uh, I'm carrying the T45 power armor sections apparently for some reason, and I think I actually dropped my excess leather armor here, which, you know, is probably the best thing to do. So what's around here? So to Commonwealth. So I think there's more areas to explore down here yet, so we didn't head outside quite so early. We have a little bit more to explore. I think left down here. Yeah, here we go. And okay, so not too much. We've got a trunk and oh, taboo tattoo. Nice. 
can get ourselves a nice Mike Tyson face tattoo, maybe, or something. Go for more guns, cafeteria trays in there. I think, oh, there we go. And uh, I mentioned place to sleep, which I could have saved that. And once again, we are now over encumbered again. But we've got a pretty decent carry weight because of our strength, so we can carry quite a lot. We're not going to be weighed down by guns or anything like that. And we're not going to be carrying too much armor. So we should have a lot of uh, carry weight spare all the time. Again, I don't know why I'd feel the need to pick things up because we're not going to be building a giant fortress or the X mansion. Or will we? Hmm. Anyway, maybe. I hadn't planned to do any building, so that's kind of pointless anyway, but it's, it's, it's loot. It's junk. It's too good to leave behind. You can't leave it behind. It's sacrilege. Sacrilege. So I don't think there's... Oh, oh, poor Raider. I'll steal his jet. There's a few things up there. Did I manage to jump up? Oh, hiding around here. Fusion core and Fortnite ledge box and the baseball. Oh, they just have the leather. So, hey-ho. Not too bad, although I don't really need leather anymore because I have everything I need. Get, come on, jump, jump, get up there. Okay, this guy's got some bridge blocks here. And um, we can, can we jump? Can we make it? Go on, you can do it. You can just a little bit higher, a little bit more. Jump, jump, come on, Wolverine. So if you were a night crawler, you could just bam, and we'd be wherever we want, but alas, we cannot. A day tripper, which is a pretty cool cam, I think. Can't remember exactly what it does, but uh, I think it's quite powerful. I've only ever found one or two of them. But yeah, we won't be using too many cans of Wolverine. Maybe buff out uh, in a few tough situations. Kind of, we can use that as like a Wolverine rage kind of thing. And buff out's pretty great emergency helper kind of things. It gives you that instant boost. Well, it boosts your max HP by 50. So in effect, it gives you an instant uh, 50 health instantly, which is great on survival mode. So it means you don't have to wait god knows how long before your health regenerates. So there we are, we've escaped Concord, escaped, yep, escaped the sewers, and now we are just waiting to travel back to Sanctuary. Thank you.